Hey, Sam, banana ram and chocolate chip pancakes are up. If you know me, you probably know that I'm obsessed with sloths, my dog, anything goth looking, Disneyland, puns, and most of all, bananas. I thought it would be super fun to gear up for season two by making Samantha LaRusso's favorite breakfast from season one, being that I'm Samantha LaRusso. If you guys remember, that is her dad's Bananarama chocolate chip pancakes. I didn't even get that this was a pun for like a year. Please excuse me, sometimes it takes me a minute. But once I got it, I laughed about it for about a week. So here I am making the Bananarama chocolate chip pancakes, which also just sound incredibly delicious. You should definitely bake these, send me pictures on social media and stuff like that, and maybe eat them while you binge watch season one, getting ready for season two. The recipe ingredients I found online were actually pretty simple for a like basic banana pancake. I'm not sure if that's what Daniel uses in the show because in the show they actually have sitting next to him a box of pancake mix, but I kind of wanted to see if I could do this from scratch. So we have an actual banana pancake recipe and then I'm going to add chocolate chips to it and hope for the best. I have never tried to make pancakes on my own before, but it was a tradition in my house when we were very young that I was allowed to flip the pancakes with my sister. So this should be interesting. <laughs> so let me show you what we need. So we have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of regular just granulated white sugar, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, two large eggs, one cup plus two tablespoons of a low-fat milk is what the recipe says, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, three tablespoons of unsalted butter melted, and one small overripe banana. This is not totally overripe, but it's way more brown than I would eat it. It says the browner the better on the recipe. So I bought the brownest looking one in the grocery store and then I let it sit for a day. So with all that, I guess we're gonna get started. I'm just about to whip up a batch right now. Okay, so first we're going to add the flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. And we're gonna whisk all that together. Okay, now it says to take the banana and put it into a small bowl, but big enough that it's gonna be able to fit a few other ingredients, you'll see. And we're going to mash this up in the bowl until it's almost smooth. And we're gonna mash it with a fork. Okay, see what they're talking about here? This should have probably been a little more ripe. There actually is a way to like speed ripen your bananas, I think, by putting them in the oven and baking them. But honestly, that's a lot of work. And I'm just trying to binge watch some Cobra Kai right now, so I'm gonna do this the lazy way. Okay, I think this is almost smooth. It's a little lumpy, but you know, that's not the end of the world. And then we're going to whisk in both eggs. vanilla. No use crying over spilled milk. Uh -huh. Now I'm gonna mix all that together. The lumpy banana is not giving me good vibes, but I love banana and I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt. All right, now I'm gonna melt my three tablespoons of butter. All right. In goes the delicious smelling melted butter. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And we just pretend that didn't happen, okay? So somehow my camera wasn't recording this, but I put in the rest of the wet mixture into the flour, whisked all that together with a fork, and then I added half a bag of milk chocolate chips into the mixture and stirred all that around, and it is smelling delicious. And it's actually kind of looking like pancake batter, right? So I guess it's time to take this over to the stove. Okay, the recipe now says to heat up a griddle or nonstick pan over medium heat until hot. So you're doing that right now. It says put a pad of butter and one tablespoon of vegetable oil onto the griddle. I don't know why it specifies to do both, Kind of tempted to just use the butter, but whatever, I guess I'll follow what it says. On goes our butter. And I guess we'll add on the oil. I'm a little afraid I got the pan too hot, so I don't want it popping off at me. Okay, it now says to add the batter in one fourth cupfuls. And it says to give them a little bit of space in between each other, so I'm just gonna do about two. Now I guess we wait for it to cook. I definitely lowered the temperature too much, so these first two might be done. 
No, I see it start bubbling. It's starting to cook. And there's one thing I remember from my pancake flipping days is waiting for the bubbles around the edges of the batter to like tell you when to flip it. Oh, I need a spatula. This is the closest we got. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can tell, but do you see all those little bubbles around there popping up in the batter? I think those are supposed to tell you when it's time to flip it. So maybe it's time to flip it, but I always burn the first two. That's kind of tradition too. Oh, I'm so bad at flipping. I forgot how bad I was at this. Oh, crap. Hey, that didn't look half bad. Look, we could have done better, but we also could have done worse, okay? Well, I think there's a rogue chocolate chip somewhere on the pan. My pancakes never turn out pretty because I'm always so busy making sure they actually got cooked all the way through. So I just kind of make cracks every once in a while. Just check how the batter's doing. I'm so excited. I think our first two are done. but I actually like my pancakes a little doughy, a little bit underdone. So I'm trying to get that mark for myself. Comment below if you agree that doughy-ish pancakes are kind of the best. I also used to love when the little ones would go off to the side because they'd become my snack. calling it. I was really dumb and there was a glass pan of chicken in front of me. I tried to reach over it and my arm landed right on the edge of the pan. I think it makes me look tough though. Getting a little better at the whole flipping thing. Somewhat great at the not getting raw batter on everything thing though. Bananarama chocolate chip pancakes. They were actually super easy to make. I have not tasted them yet, but this stack looks incredible. I am so excited. Shall we, I guess? Uh, I don't even know where to start. Okay, these are delicious. I would definitely add more bananas to the batter if I wanted a stronger banana taste, because honestly, there's not that strong of a banana taste just the batter in general. But for most people, unlike me, who don't love bananas that much, this is actually like a super perfect, just hint of flavor. But let's be honest, the chocolate chips totally steal the show. Okay, between eating all of these and binge watching season one of Cobra Kai, which is currently on YouTube Premium, ready to binge watch already, and then I have to make a whole nother batch so that I can eat them while binge watching season two, all episodes are gonna drop at once on YouTube to premium on April 24th. I am so excited for you guys to see what we have in store for you this year. It got absolutely insane. And I have some more Cobra Kai themed videos that I think you'll want to keep your eye out for if you're a fan of the show. Like I said, I need to go eat the rest of this. But comment down below your favorite scene from Cobra Kai season one. I'm so curious to hear about that. And if you're watching this after season two has already come out on YouTube Premium, I can't wait to hear about your thoughts from season two. It just takes everything that was amazing about season one and makes it even crazier and even better, in my humble opinion. Let me know if you guys try these. Definitely tag me on social media if you do with hashtag LaRusso Bananarama Pancakes because I would love to eat these with you guys and watch the show and talk about season one and season two and what is to come. So anyway, subscribe, hit the notification button, and check back next Thursday for some more Cobra Kai themed videos but I think some of you are going to really like. I know I had a lot of fun prepping these for you guys. I'm excited. Who's excited? Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!